Hi and welcome to Safe Driver Training. In this video, we're going to talk about truck payload. As a professional driver, you must be able to calculate the truck payload. The most common fines the truck driver can receive is for the overrate penalties. The driver of the vehicle needs to make sure that the truck which they are driving is compliable with the law. Here you can see the table of overrate breaches found in Land Transport Regulations 1999 Offenses and Penalties. You can pause the video if you want to have a good look at this table. Pilot it's a part of a vehicle's load from which revenue is derived. Or in a simple words, payloads, it's a maximum weight of the load that your vehicle may legally carry. To calculate the payload, we have a formula. The total gross weight of the vehicle minus the weight of the vehicle equals your payload. To find out the total gross weight of the truck, first of all, we need to understand the GVM, RUC and maximum axle weights. GVM stands for gross vehicle mass. So it is a maximum weight that the vehicle could carry specified by the vehicle manufacturer or by the transport agency specified in kilograms. GVM could be found on a certificate of loading found on inside of your truck on the passenger side. RUC stands for road user charges. RUC license specified maximum gross weight in tons also find on the inside of your windscreen on the passenger side. Maximum axle weight, it's a lesser of the maximum allowable weight on the vehicle axles or group of axles specified by the transport agency or vehicle manufacturer rating. Axle weight specified by the transport agency could be found in your road code for heavy vehicle drivers. If you do not have a hard road code copy, you can find it on NZTA website. Under the driver's license tab, go to the road code section and find heavy vehicle road code. Under information for heavy vehicle drivers, find the heavy rigid motor vehicle definitions and specifications. Scroll it down and you will be able to find the table of axle weights and axle group weights. Using this section of the road code, we can define our truck axles and find out the maximum axle weights. In this example, the front axles of this truck is single standard axle. According to the NZTA rating, the single standard axle rated to 6000 kgs. The rear axle is twin tied axle and according to this table the weight that this axle can maximum carry is 8200 kilograms. The maximum weights defined by the manufacturer of the vehicle can be found on second page of certificate of loading of the truck. As you can see on the second page of this certificate we've got axle set rating front. According to the manufacturer, this axle is only rated to 3600 kgs. The rear axle set only rated to 6600 kgs according to the manufacturer rating. We must use the lesser numbers. Maximum axle weight may be calculated by adding the maximum weight on the axles or group of axles of the truck. What is the payload for this particular truck? Let's use the formula to find it out. Total gross weight, which could be our GVM, RUC or maximum axle weight, whichever is lesser, minus the TA weight of the truck equals payload. So using this formula, now we can determine the payload of this particular truck. So let's find out the GVM of this truck. So GVM we can find on the first page of our certificate of loading and it equals to 9400 kgs. Let's find the RUC weight. As you can see it is 10,000 kilograms. Maximum axle weight for this given vehicle is equals to 10,200. We just added the two maximum manufacturer weights on both of the axles. In this particular example, the GVM is the least number, so we must use GVM to calculate payload for this particular truck. 
9400 minus the TA weight which is found on your certificate of loading equals your payload of 5360 kgs for this particular truck. Let's have another example. This is another truck. GVM is 15,000 kgs according to certificate of loading. RUC equals to 15,000 kgs as well. Let's find out the maximum axle weights. As you can see, the axle set rating for the front axle equals to 6,300. For the rear axles is 9,200. And the summary of those axle weights equals 15,500 kgs. However, now we must check the maximum axle weights according to the New Zealand Transport Agency. So on the front axle we can only carry 6000 kgs. On the rear axle we can only carry 8200 kgs. So our maximum axle weights for this vehicle is determined by the New Zealand Transport Agency definition and it equals to 14000 200 kgs. To calculate the payload for this particular vehicle, we must use maximum axle weights because it's a lesser number. So 14,200 kgs minus the tier weight of the truck, which is 6,340 kgs, equals 7,860 kgs. Let's summarize. Now you know how to calculate the payload for your truck. This method could be applied to any rigid vehicle in New Zealand, as well as this method also could be applied to your combination vehicles. However, there are a few more things you need to know about it. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel, where I will be explaining you how to calculate the payloads on your combination vehicles in my next video. As always, safe driving to you all.